welcome to natural skincare school in this video i want to tell you how to determine the ph of your skincare product keep in mind if you are selling product to the public or you're even making it for yourself uh, the ph of your skincare product matters a lot because it's going to affect the way your product works or the way your products relate to your customer's skin or your own skin so how do you determine uh, the type of uh, the pH to give to your skincare product. Here is how you start. If you are making a product to, that will moisturize dry skin, you want to make make the pH as comfortable as possible. Now, before you go forward at all, you have to make sure before you start your formulation at all, you have to make sure you use you you make your pH compatible with that of your chosen preservative for instance if you're using liquid gemma plus the ph range is between three i think three and eight so anything below or above anything below three or anything above eight is going to deactivate uh, your skincare product. so likewise other preservative too so make sure the preservative you are using and the ph of your skincare product are compatible so having done that if you are making an exfoliating product. Exfoliating product includes AHA, like a AHA acid peel, for instance, the exfoliating acid peel, or even, even if you're just making AHA lotion, right? You have to make sure, for instance, AHA product, the, the pH should be 4.0. And how do you know the pH of, of this uh, AHA product? The pH of this AHA product is based on the pH of the active used. The active used mainly in formulating AHA product is fruit acid complex. And the manufacturer states that the pH should not be more than 4.01, I think. So the pH should be 4.0. So 4 is okay. So make sure it's oak is 4 when you're making AHA product. So that's by the side. If you're making and hydrating or softening lotion for to soften dry skin and so on and so forth you have to make sure the ph is between 5.5 or 5 between 5.5 to 6. okay you don't want anything below 5 okay make sure at least it's comfortable between 5.5 and 6. if it's even if it's 5.2 5.3 that's okay so anything between 5.2 to 6 that's okay even if it's 5.5 to 6 that's okay so just make sure that is the comfortable ph because the comfortable ph for the skin is 5.5 you want if you're talking about skin balanced ph is 5.5 so anything between 5.5 and 6 is okay also 5.2 to 6 that's okay now if you are making a face cleanser if you have been formulating for all for a while you will know that for a face cleanser 5.0 it's okay but if you still have it between 5.0 and 5.5 that's perfect when making a face cleanser now if you are making a face cleanser for an oily skin you may want to make it 4.5 so i want you to note all this down for oily skin, because you want to get rid of oysters oil, you want it to be a light, slightly acidic. So make sure you make it at least 4.5 to 5. That's okay for face product or even cleanser for oily skin. But if it's for dry skin, make sure it's 5.5. Now, if you're making a shampoo, I mean body wash shampoo, that if there's no exfoliant in it like exfoliant like apricot shell jojoba beet shell and so on then you want to make sure the ph is five keep that in mind i formulated several skincare products i just have to tell you make sure when you're doing a face wash let the ph be five if you want to a bit you want to adjust it a bit you can let it be 4.5 because you want to depending on what you are formulating Another, th another way to determine the pH of your skincare product is the active you used. For instance, if you're making a product that has niacinamide as the active in it. For instance, I have a niacinamide ser serum here. The active in it is, is niacinamide. You have to make sure what, you have to find the optimum pH for that, uh, for that active. And for every active uh, suppliers will give you detailed information there 
optimum pH level for that product. So make sure the pH level for the product you are making matches that of the active you are using. Okay, so that is the best way to know the pH of your product. Also, I have one serum here, it's hyaluronic serum. You ask me, okay, what pH should I use put it? Most of the suppliers of uh, sodium hyaluronate, okay, they really do not tell you the optimum pH. But the optimum pH for your serum is 5 to 5.5. I hyaluronic acid is for, for hydrating the skin, okay? Plumping the skin. You don't want it to get rid of excess oil. You want it to hydrate the skin nicely. So 5.0 is actually the best pH for hyaluronic serum. I see a lot on the market having higher pH or even lower pH, no. The optimum pH for your serum, hyaluronic serum is 5.0. For niacinamide serum, it's 6.0 or any product that has niacinamide. If not, that your, your serum will not work. It's just going to be a regular product. Now, also for face wash, remember, like I said, face wash 5.0. For cleansing products, for instance, I have a cleansing gel here. You can also make it anything between 4.5 and 5.0. It's perfect. Any product that has niacin, NAC, or ceramide, okay? It all depends. Ceramide, they didn't really specify the spot. The leading uh, active in this serum is niacinamide. So I'm going to make the pH 6.0 because niacinamide is the leading active. I want you to keep this in mind as you keep uh, formulating. And if you are making a product for dry skin, make sure the pH is a minimum of 5 to 6.0, nothing less than that. Now, Finally, before I let you go, if you are formulating peeling cream, exfoliating peeling cream that has, um, that has jojoba bead and so on and so forth, just like I said before, do not worry about the pH because the active here are the beads or the powder. So don't worry about checking the pH. These are just to use when you are washing and the active years are you know, mainly the beads or the exfoliant. So don't worry too much. I know sometimes I check the pH. Most of the time when you check the pH of this, you just find this at 5.0. Okay, so don't bother too much about checking the pH of things that have beads, exfoliants and so on and so forth. But the cream, serum, lotion, you have to make sure you check the pH properly. It's very important that you have an optimum pH for your product to work properly. So keep that in mind. And that's why Natural Skincare School is different from other skincare. On Natural Skincare School, I share with you um, my own uh, custom formulated uh, formula okay then i give you step-by-step -step instruction on how to formulate that skincare product these are not the diy you see all over the place that's why natural skincare school is so so different from other school so the more formula you formulate the better you are at formulating any skincare product and i'm always available to help you i uh, have my support email on every formula i, I create on natural so if you want to learn so much about creating wide range of skincare products serum anti-aging lotion and so on and so forth feel free to click the subscribe button the notification icon okay also head to naturalskincareschool.com to learn more join us join us i mean i have a, a, a growing uh, membership right now i'm only taking 500 students because I have to be available myself and my team have to be available for you when you need our help. So that's why we are only limiting admission to 500 students. And you know, we our students learn by formula. So for every product you have formula and you have step-by-step -step instruction, you have the support email to email us if you have any question. And we will be with you uh, every step of the way. And there are some you know, private videos here on YouTube that I don't share with the public except with uh, natural skincare school students. So 
if you subscribe you will have access to those private video and you will also have access to all my custom made formula thank you so much for watching everyone i wish you the best in your formulation journey remember the best way to learn is to continue to formulate great and stable skincare products if you need help this is a channel for you so keep watching subscribe click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new. and remember visit naturalskincareschool.com and join the membership you can either pick the monthly membership or pick the yearly one and i wish you well in your formulation journey everyone Thanks for watching.